The Millennium Patchwork. The Millennium Patchwork was created as a community project to represent the village at the turn of the millennium. The design is based on an early American settler's friendship quilt and the plan was to get the residents of Bitten to each sign a patch and then to stitch the patches together to form the banner you see here. The idea was hatched in the spring of 1999 and the first patches were signed at Bitten Village Fate on September the 3rd the same year. During the following nine months, 25 friends cut out the patches and then stitched them back together. It soon became apparent that the signatures were difficult to read and it was decided they should each be embroidered. The patchwork was a mammoth task. There are well over 1,500 patches and 1,400 signatures, all stitched by hand with an average of 35 stitches along each edge of each patch. So it's not surprising that the group became known as the Nimble Fingers of Bitten. The group met every Tuesday evening at Church Farm to snip, gossip and stitch the magic of the patchwork. But just about everyone in the group took bags of fabric and thread home and returned seven days later with completed patches ready to be stitched into the 16 panels. Gradually over the months, the completed panels began to stack up. The stunning centre panel was designed and stitched solely by Joyce Cooper, the retired headmistress of the Upton Cheney Primary School, who was also an accomplished needlewoman. The names of the 25 nimble fingers of Bitten are embroidered along the lower border. Plus there is one other name, Monty Dermot, an accomplished cabinet maker who transformed the patchwork into what you see here by framing it in oak. The patchwork was completed and ready to be displayed in the church for the millennium celebrations in June 2000, but it weighed a ton. Fortunately, a posse of strong men volunteered and it was carried one evening, almost ceremoniously, through the churchyard from the barn at Church Farm to the church. Besides the signatures, there are embroidered patches around the border with interesting snippets of information about the village. See if you can spot the two entries for Bitten in the Doomsday Book 1086. A map of the parish of Bitten in the year 2000. Information on the history of the church. Details of the old village lockup. A picture of a favourite nearby landmark, Kelston Hill. The gift of the manorial court of Bethune, bestowed by Henry II in 1151. The name of the oldest house in the village, which dates to 1220. How Jane Seymour, Queen of King Henry VIII, is linked to the Grange in Bitten. See if you can spot where the famous Bath architect John D. Wood lived in Bitten. When the old vicarage was built, and about its famous resident, Canham Ellicum, who founded the botanical gardens in Bath. Who was the oldest resident in Bitten at the turn of the millennium? Who was the first baby to be born in Bitten in the year 2000? And details of the trees planted in the village to mark the millennium. If you would like to find out your family name on the patchwork, there is an index of names along with a coded chart of the patchwork in the nearby patchwork book. Each name on the alphabetical list has a coded letter indicating which panel of the patchwork holds the signature. The following number refers to the page number in the book where personal memories are written. So, get searching and get to know Bitten.